Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Second video, I'm going to try and do two videos each weekend because I want to get to some more content that you guys have requested. So get excited for a lot more content for me until I catch up. I wanted to review to you, review another fragrance for you guys. And this is another fragrance I picked up from Lancome. It's the Mason Lancome line. Um, and I got Jasmine Marzipan. So if you want to know what I think of this fragrance, it's longevity, how it smells, um, uh, sillage, and all the other beautiful things that people want to know about fragrances, and then keep watching. <laughs> foremost I'm gonna link my first um, fragrance review from Mason Lancome below it's Oud Bouquet I kind of talk a little bit more about what Mason Lancome is basically it's six perfumers were asked or tasked to create fragrances that were pay tribute to the founder of Lancome um, and one of them the first one I got was Oud Bouquet which is a gorgeous absolutely delicious mix of Oud Gourmet or Oud and Gourmand and Rose fragrances it's stunning um and then i wanted to try this one this was the other one that was on my radar that i absolutely had to buy and this is jasmine's marzipan now i love jasmine fragrances um the two fragrances that i remember growing up were by my window there was night blooming jasmine and on the side of our house was a gardenia bush um so i like both fragrances very much they remind me very much of growing up um, and Jasmine specifically, I loved. So when I saw the notes for this, I was really, really excited. Um, and I fell in love with the quality of the fragrance of Eau Bouquet. So I did purchase this one blind about a week or two ago. And I've been wearing it off and on. So I'm ready to give you guys my review. First, I'm going to talk to you guys about the, the notes that are in it. And then I'll get into longevity, sillage, when I think it's appropriate to wear and if I like it and recommend it. The notes are bourbon, vanilla, jasmine, I'm going to butcher the names of these things, just understand that's what I'm known for is being really unprofessional and not being able to pronounce things, so I'm sorry. Bourbon, vanilla, jasmine, sambac, jasmine, grandiflorum, cashmere wood, almond wood, musk, and sandalwood. Now, this is a beautiful bouquet of jasmine. You do not at all in any part of the opening or when it warms up or the dry down or like eight hours later when you're still smelling the fragrance you will always have a beautiful jasmine experience with this fragrance which I really really like. The opening of this to me is very green. I get a lot of sandalwood and musk and jasmine um, and as it warms up on my skin you get kind of the almond wood and the sandalwood and it gets a little bit warmer but the jasmine is still there which is really really nice so it starts off as a bright floral and then after about four or five hours you get kind of like a warm floral to it it's really nice so obviously if I'm saying this thing lasts about five to six hours it has excellent longevity and it does now remember I live in a very hot and humid climate I live in Fort Lauderdale Florida it's very hot, it's incredibly humid, and I live on the water. So it is a very unforgiving climate when it comes to fragrance longevities. Either fragrances wear away really quickly or they stand the test of times and they last what I hope for four to six hours. That's what I ho usually hope for with my fragrances. This lasted six to ten hours depending on when I wore it and how much I applied. This has ridiculously fantastic longevity, this guy so good. Ubuque had a fantastic longevity as well. And that's something that I attribute to the quality of the juice. It's such a high quality um, liquid, fragrance, juice, whatever you want to call it. Um, it just kind of sits on the skin, it settles on the skin, and it just smells beautifully all day. Now you do get jasmine all day, like I said in the very beginning. You're going to be getting the musk, and as it warms up on your skin, you're going to be getting more of the sandalwood, almond wood, and it kind of warms up and becomes a little bit more gourmandish the longer that you wear it. Obviously marzipan is almond, so you know you get the jasmine most definitely. The almond you get later on, at least I got later on when I wore this. What I like the fact is, is that it's not like a synthetic candy-esque almond, which if you ever have eaten a marzipan candy or any kind of almond cake, you know that almond flavor. It's not the flavor of an almond, it's almond flavoring. And although it is really delicious and awesome, sometimes if it's mixed in fragrances, it can make 
it can cheapen a fragrance. Um, I'm going to use an example. Um, it's one of the fragrances from Miklof that I wasn't really too fond of, which was Dolce um, Ananda Dolce. That was peach and almond, but the almond was kind of the candy marzipan-esque almond. And mixed with the peach on my skin, it just was pure bubblegum. Now, it was very feminine, and I can see why a lot of people would love it. But me, not so much. And um, what I love about this is because the almond never goes to that gimmicky almond flavoring. It's a very kind of like earthy almond, which pairs beautifully with the jasmine and kind of gives this some gourmand elements, which are really beautiful without being overtly food-esque. So this is a beautiful floral gourmand, which I think if you love jasmine and you love beautiful, rich fragrances, this is definitely something that's worth checking out that's not gimmicky or too sweet or a little bit too cheapening or cheap smelling. Because I think that if you do almond wrong, it can smell cheap and not expensive and nice. And I think that this does it beautifully. This fragrance also has fantastic sillage. It tends to fill a room and follow you wherever you go. If you're looking for that in a fragrance, this is fantastic. That being said, I do not think this is work appropriate because it is so thick and fills a room very much. So I would recommend this more for a date or if you're going out shopping or to an event. Maybe not for work or maybe not close quarters, like maybe if you're in classes in school or if you're going to the theater. But I do think this is beautiful, has beautiful sillage, beautiful longevity, and just generally overall it's a gorgeous fragrance. I also like the fact that this is a white floral fragrance that does not fall into the um, lost in translation of white floral fragrances. And whenever I smell jasmine fragrances that don't have anything else in them but jasmine, they're beautiful. But the second someone tries to add something to a jasmine fragrance, if it's not done correctly, it smells very generic and very cheap, even if the fragrance itself is not very generic or very cheap. Um, so I was a little hesitant at first to purchase this blind, but I was so blown away by Oud Bouquet, I decided to give it a shot and I'm glad I did because you never lose the in integrity of the jasmine in this fragrance. It is there the entire time you wear this. So this is a true floral fragrance, a true jasmine fragrance. You will never not smell like jasmine, but it's going to be definitively jasmine like you're wearing a jasmine essential oil, only it's going to be an elegant, sophisticated, expensive version of jasmine. And what I mean by that is if you ever smelled a jasmine fragrance that wasn't mixed well, it smells very cheap. It smells like something you would have gotten from Bath and Body Works or maybe would have picked up at on sale at TJ Maxx um, where it was originally $10 and now it's two. There's nothing wrong with those fragrances if you like to wear them, but when I'm talking about fragrances like this, when you're spending this amount of money on a bottle of perfume, you want it to smell like you spent this amount of money on a bottle of perfume and not like you spent two to three dollars on a bottle of perfume. So I'm not knocking those fragrances, but I am comparing this to those because some fragrances that I've purchased that are really expensive, two, three hundred dollars that were like jasmine or white florals, they smell like three dollar counterparts. I'd much rather just buy the three dollar fragrance. And I have, and I wear them, and I like them. But if I'm going to spend the money, I want it to smell like I spent a lot of money on my fragrance because I spent a lot of money on my fragrance. You want to smell the quality. And with this, you definitely get that. And that's fantastic because I find that people can really easily lose the integrity of the jasmine blossom and it can get lost especially when you add other notes to it and i think that this was done beautifully and expertly i think i'm done babbling about this fragrance today i love this fragrance guys if you like jasmine fragrances if you have the chance to sample this or experience this definitely do it's beautiful i like how it's not too sweet and i like how it the woody notes and the vanilla and the sandalwood kind of anchor this fragrance and really anchor the jasmine and kind of just elevate it at the same time. I would say this is probably isn't so much of a daytime fragrance, maybe early afternoon and evening casual. Um, I might even say you can wear this um, for formal events in the evening as well. It is very beautiful. Um, so I do recommend checking it out. Again, the bottle is gorgeous. This is the newer bottles. This is the 3.4 ounce bottles. I think that the 2.5 ounce bottles are a little bit differently, um, but I love the bottle. So far, this is my favorite packaging of all of my fragrances. There's just something really elegant and beautiful and just awesome about this. This is my favorite bottles ever, ever. 
ever. So yeah, that's saying something because I love packaging and this just does it for me, you guys. It's just stunning. I love it. So yeah, definitely recommend Jasmine Mars of Hand from Mason Lancome. And I'm really excited to get more. I am planning on getting them all. I'm just going to do it very slowly because there's a bunch of other fragrances I want to buy. So I'll probably get maybe one every few months. Hopefully by the end of this year, I will have all of them. And I will have reviewed all of them for you. So get excited for that if that's something you want to see. Anyway, love this fragrance. Definitely worth the money. It's a beautiful jasmine. And I think it's just absolutely gorgeous and delicious. I'm also wearing it now. Real quick, I've been wearing it for about three hours. And I'm at the point where the jasmine's kind of sweetened up just a little bit. And it's going from musk to woody. Um, and that's when the almond really comes into play. And again, it's not the... um. It's not the, like, again, the almond marzipan candy almond flavoring. It's just a very earthy almond wood. It's delicious, and I love it. Um, this is my favorite time with this fragrance is about four to five hours of wear because when the musk kind of goes away a little bit and you get into the woody parts of it, that's where it really sings, and it's where you get all the notes playing beautifully together, and it's my favorite time. I'm so excited. Okay, it's going to last for about two hours, and then I'll get to the more woody, deeper jasmine notes which is also fun I really like this fragrance guys <laughs> anyway I'm gonna stop babbling if you guys like my fragrance videos and my fragrance reviews remember to give this video a thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing videos like this I still have remnants of my last video it lets me know to continue doing videos like this specifically fragrance videos and fragrance reviews if you guys like fragrance videos and fragrance reviews and want to see them more frequently give this video a thumbs up also, don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes like this video on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.